All right, so now we have everything we need to go over the Deutsch Josa and Bernstein Bezerani algorithms. Okay, so let's start with Deutsch Josa. So this is one of the first quantum algorithms um, that you know formally showed that a quantum algorithm can do something that a classical deterministic algorithm cannot. Okay, so what's the setup here? It's it's in the Oracle model, so we're given an Oracle to a function f, and we're promised that this function is either a constant function, so it f of x is always zero, or f of x is always one, or f is balanced, so it takes on the value zero as often as it takes on the value one. Okay, so we're given O f. We're promised that f is in one of these cases, and we want to use O f as few times as possible in order to determine which one is the case. Okay, so before we get into quantum algorithm, let's first think about how would you solve this problem with a randomized algorithm. Okay, so we can go ahead and pause the video and think about that for a second. I'll give the answer right after this. Okay, so this problem is actually very easy for a randomized algorithm. Okay, the idea is that if the function is constant, then of course, uh, whatever we query, we're always going to see zero, or we're always going to see one. But if the function is not constant, then if we just query a random x, the probability that we see zero is a half, and the probability that we see one is a half. So if we just randomly query uh, f at like you know ten different x's with good probability, you know with probably at least two thirds, if the function is balanced, we will see both the answer zero and the answer one. Okay, and then we know that we must be in the balanced case. Okay, so this problem can actually be solved, you know, with probability two thirds by a randomized algorithm, just making a constant number of calls to the oracle. Okay, second question. How, how about for a deterministic algorithm? How many times does it need to query the oracle to solve this problem? Okay, so you can again pause the video and think about that for a minute. Okay, so this problem is actually hard for a deterministic algorithm. So in fact, a deterministic algorithm is going to have to query the oracle something like two to the n over two times. Okay, why is that? Well, I can basically develop a, an adversary argument to, to prove that. So say that the algorithm makes some query, I'm just going to answer that query with the value zero, okay? And even if I answer with the value zero after two to the n over two many queries, the algorithm still can't decide with certainty whether the function is constant or balanced, right? I can still choose how I answer the rest of the queries um, and to, to make f correspond to a balanced function, you know, the all zero function, or to make it correspond to a, uh, to a balanced function, okay? Uh, so that shows that you need at least two to the n over two many queries to solve this problem with a uh, deterministic algorithm. Okay, so this problem is hard for classical deterministic algorithms. Okay, so how does the deutsch josa algorithm work? Um, we start in the very typical way. We create uniform superposition on the first register. Then we apply a phase oracle, okay, so that brings us to this state. And then we again apply, apply Hadamard on the first register. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, so first let's suppose that f is the constant zero function. Okay, in that case, so f of x is always zero, so this phase here is always one. So that means that what we have here on the first register is just a uniform superposition over all x. So then when we apply Hadamard to that, 
it just maps us to the all zero string. Okay, so in the case where f is the constant function, at the end of this algorithm, we're in the state 0 to the n tensor 1 with certainty. Okay, similarly, if f is the constant 1 function, then this is always 1, and we basically get a you know, global phase factor of minus 1. So after we apply Hadamard, we're in the state minus 1 times 0 to the n tensor 1. Okay, so in either case, uh, when we measure, we're going to get this state with certainty. Okay, now let's consider what happens in the other case when we're balanced. Okay, so we're in this state um, after step two, and then we apply uh, Hadamard to the first register. Okay, so recall what the Hadamard does to an arbitrary computational basis state. Um, it does this. So we're just going to plug this in. Okay, so what do we get when we apply Hadamard to the first register? We're going to get sum over x minus 1 to the f of x. And then what does Hadamard take x to? Well, it takes it to uh, sum over all y uh, minus 1 to the x dot y times y. Okay? Now we don't need to work out what this entire state is. All we need to do is um, look at the amplitude on the state 0 to the n tensor 1, right? Because we know in the constant case, we're always going to uh, end up in this state. So we just need to see um, in the balance case, when we measure on the computational basis, what is the probability that we get this state? Okay, so think about the case where uh, y is the is the all zero string. Okay, we want to because we want to see what the amplitude uh, in front of of this state is. Okay, so when y is the all zero string, then x dot y is always zero. Okay, so this phase is always going to be one. Okay, so that means that the amplitude on the zero to the n tensor one state is just going to be 1 over 2 to the n times this sum over x minus 1 to the f of x. Okay, but when f is balanced, this is just 0. Okay, so we actually have no amplitude on 0 to the n uh, tensor 1. Okay, so we're never going to see this state when we measure in the case that f is balanced. Okay, so that gives us our algorithm. Uh, we do Hadamard, apply phase oracle, do another Hadamard, and then we measure the computational basis. If we get 0 to the n, if we see 0 to the n tensor 1, then we know that the function is constant. Otherwise, we know that the function is balanced. Okay, so with one, uh, one quantum query, with certainty, we can decide between these two cases.